Okay, this PowerPoint presentation is about research in lifespan development. Okay, so the topic topics we're going to cover is objectivity, methods of collecting data, types slash design of research. Okay, so objectivity and measurement. Objectivity is to be objective is to study the phenomenon as it is and not as we want it to be. This means we should not allow our previous ideas, convictions and feelings influence our research. So to be unbiased, don't be biased. You know, if you like someone or something, don't give them like extra marks because you need to be more objective. Measurement. Moving on to the next topic, measurement. Measurement helps our objectivity by transforming information into numbers. Okay, now moving on to the next slide. Methods of collecting data. Observation. Systematic either in the laboratory or naturalistic in the real world. What, home, where, how to observe and how to record. So first stage is, um, I guess it starts with stage two here. Uh, correlational research studies the relationship between two or more variables used stats methods which calculates the correlation coefficient okay this is going to be confusing <laughs> correlation coefficient plus one or less indicates positive relationship minus one indicates negative example height and weight marks hours of study exam hours of TV and weight so okay I don't quite understand this and I don't think you guys are study understanding either so let's just look at what correlation is I think I saw this somewhere else okay so what we need to remember for this is studies the relationship between two or more variables so if you have height and weight so okay two variables for example one variable is height one variable is weight so we study the relationship between that so hours of study studying and exam so one one variable is studying one variable is exam so we study uh, the relationship between them so I get you get it so TV watching TV and weight so how fat are you if you people watch our TV are they more fat etc so two variables okay now three experimental research studies cause and effect and factors influencing certain variables so experiments deal with you know as the word says remember experimental is you do experiments so independent variables the variable assumed to be the cause independent variables the variable assumed to be affected by the independent variable example medicine and pain method of teaching and learning so experiments use experimental groups to be manipulated or experimented on controlled groups or comparison Okay, now the next type of research is time span research. Longitudinal. One age group studied over a period of time, years or months, to discover the change from one year or more or the other, what is compared. So longitudinal, remember, it's to study one age group over a period of time. It's not cross-section of people. It's just one age group over a period of time. So problems, time, money, research sample anyway cross-sectional this is where you do different age groups I guess so uses samples of age groups and compares them the differences among age groups are assumed changes from one age to another so cross-section remember cross-section not sectional cross it's across the board a 
Okay, so now conducting ethical research. When you do research, what they mean by ethical is not to be biased again. So, it's, uh, especially in experiments. Number one, informed consent by subjects. So, when you're experimenting on someone, you ask that they can be experimented on. Confidentiality means you're not going to give this information to anyone else. Debriefing, what you give the information afterwards. Deception, not harmful. Okay, that's it for uh, research. I'm probably going to do the same thing for the other re uh, PowerPoint slide. But they seem to be the same. But if they're not, I'll just go through it just in case. 